Hi, my name is Nick Gonzalez. I am a digital learning specialist for BPS, and this is the Chromebook Management Webinar for the TLT. Thank you again for, for watching. This is Managing the Digital Classroom with Chromebooks. So welcome, folks. Here's an overview of what's happening today. Um, so today we're going to go over what a Chromebook actually is. We're going to talk about the settings, storage, and updates, extensions versus apps, classroom management with your Chromebooks, professional learning opportunities, activities and reflection, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your exit ticket. We have some resources up in the TLT resource document. Um, our presentation is there, as is the Chromebook resources page, and our exit ticket as well. So let's jump right into it. So what exactly is a Chromebook? Well, Chromebooks, um, the ones we have here at BPS, are provided by Acer. And if you're interested in, in a really thorough breakdown of what a Chromebook is, we highly suggest watching this video um, introducing the Chromebook and to really look into this Chromebook resource that we have. But the slow and skinny of it is that a Chromebook is not like a standard laptop. It's very different in that it doesn't have a hard drive within the device. It actually uses the Google Drive as, as storage. And the Google, Google Drive is, a, is essentially a cloud. And so it doesn't really store anything on the device per se, but it actually stores it in the drive or in the cloud. So with this becomes many features. You have built-in protection in, mul in multiple layers of it. So essentially none of your, none of your uh, data can ever get lost because it saves to the cloud, which is great because if a Chromebook dies or breaks, you know, you don't have to worry about losing any of your data. It keeps your files safe, obviously. Um, it's got Google Drive already built in and it automatically backs up. So there's never, and no one ever has to really fear losing data. Okay, it stays fresh all by itself and that Chromebooks automatically up update themselves for free. So they always have the latest fo uh, version of Chrome on them. So there's no need to manually download or upload anything to your device. Everything comes included and it self-maintains. So with that, it becomes easy to share. Chromebooks are super easy to share because they all run off of Google Drive. And because Google Drives are particular to certain accounts, um, all it takes is for a student or a teacher to sign into a Chromebook and everything that has been personalized to their particular Chrome browser will pop up. So again, it's different, Chromebooks are different in that they run off of a Chrome browser. It's essentially just a browser window. And from the browser, it acts very much like a standard laptop. Something you should know about Chromebooks is that they have to have a reliable wireless internet connection in order to work because they function off of the internet. But thankfully, they're delivered with all the settings and configurations in place. So there's no need to worry about configuring or changing the settings or anything like that. Um, students can essentially just open up their Chromebooks and start working. And all you have to do is open up the cart and give it to them and they'll be able to open it and start working. One of the great things about Chromebooks are its accessibility features in that it has an, um, spoken feedback. It also has high contrast mode for students who are hard of sight and screen magnifiers as well. These are just a few things, but again, there are a list of accessibility features that Chromebook automatically comes with. Setting storage and updates. So again, because your Chromebooks have settings pre-installed and updates that happen automatically, this is not something you really have to worry about unless it comes down to accessibility. However, um, for the most part, everything is in place. Again, a student just has to open it up and start working. So again, it's really important to realize that Chromebooks have unlimited storage. Students can store as much as they would like on their Google Drive and on Chromebooks because again, it functions off of the cloud. So it doesn't matter if their a Chromebook breaks, all they have to do is sign into their account again and they would be able to access whatever they have stored. And again, it's virtually unlimited. The only things that students and teachers can store on their Google Drive are applications. So again, it doesn't really matter which Chromebook they use, uh, students will be able to access their data just by signing into their Gmail account and storage is unlimited. So one of the great things about Chromebooks are extensions and apps, right? So yet one thing to keep in mind though is that you have that there are two fundamentally different things. Extensions are what uh, personalize the browsing experience in that Chrome is a browser, it surfs the internet and using extensions helps you uh, personalize the experience of, of um, actually navigating and browsing the web versus apps which are more like Google Docs or 
Google Calendar and that they're apps, applications that they use on their own. They're not really browser specific. It's their apps or applications that anybody can, can access. The place where you look for extensions is in uh, the corner of your Chrome browser. So if you look right here to your right, you'll see that I have four different extensions here. Um, I have um, Display on another screen, I have Read and Write for Google Chrome, I have Screencastify, and I have one tap, right? And each of them serves a specific purpose. For example, if I click on Screencastify, with one click I am able to record both audio and what's happening on my screen. Things like this function really well in the classroom in that students can narrate exactly what they're doing on a device or on their Chromebook and they can talk about it and, and show evidence of learning through this way. Um, it's a great way to, again, um, assess students in, in, in a different way. And it's a great way for students to show evidence. Um, and the way you get to your extensions or to add extensions is to go to your Chrome browser extension store, which all you have to do is go in is Google Chrome browser extensions and it'll take you directly to the Chrome Web Store. And from here, you'll be able to see all the different, um, all the different extensions that will latch directly into the corner of your browser that you, and you can hit it in one and you'll be able to access them by just by clicking on their icons. And you can see many of them are free. So the, the great ways to personalize the browser experience and great ways for students to uh, personalize their browser experience as well. First is a, a application, like for example, using a Google Doc, it's a little bit different, right? You, this has nothing to do with your browser, it has more to do with content, it has more to do with using a specific application. So again, these are two things that are fundamentally different about using a Chromebook. So some classroom management suggestions, so we want to go into this a little bit. Now because technology has become such a necessity within the classroom, and, and like, any, like everything in a classroom, a process needs to be in place in order to use it effectively. And so most of us, most of us are going to be getting Chromebook carts, most of the uh, teachers in schools will be getting carts, so just like you would roll out different books or you would roll out different uh, strategies within your classroom, you have to have the same thing with, it, with your Chromebooks and the Chromebook carts as well. The way you manage it is up to you, however, some strategies that have been used by teachers are to, for example, place tape and number each of the Chromebooks and de designating the number Chromebook to a particular student or particular students. Um, that's just one way of doing it. Um, having, a, you know, maybe having uh, a student helper organize uh, or help collect Chromebooks at the beginning and end of class also works as well. And the process is up to you and the rollout is up to you. However, having a process in place will really help with effective use of Chromebooks in your classroom. Professional learning. So BPS is happy to offer many ways to deepen your understanding of technology, and in this case, Chromebooks. And we would like to provide you with opportunities um, to learn, but we also encourage you to go and learn on your own. And one of the things that you can do is go into the document that we sent you on the BPS guide to Chromebooks. As you scroll through the different uh, um, topics and different guidelines and, and suggestions, you'll see at the bottom of the page, uh, I'm sorry, towards the end of the document, you'll see the resources. And within these resources, you have, for example, GoGuardian, which is a really good Chromebook management tool that's, that uh, BPS endorses. It's a way to monitor what your kids are seeing, what your students are seeing in the classroom, and you'll be able to control what they're seeing and being able to monitor the different sites that they're going on to. Um, BPS is developing this further. Um, you have the digital learning team webinar, so we have the webinars that we've, we have produced that you can have access to. The guide to everything Chromebook, the Google Chromebook Help Center. Uh, if you wanna know more about the specifics of your, I'm sorry, the specifications of the Chromebooks that you have in your classroom, that's available here as well. As long, there's a slew of different resources and we encourage you to go and learn on your own and see what you can, um, and see what you can come up with. And we'd love to hear about it. We always love to hear what teachers are doing in their classroom because we learn from you just as much, I'm sure, as you learn from us. Lastly, we would really like you to complete your ex exit ticket. It's really important for us here at BPS Technology to know what you know and to help you um, 
deepen your understanding of the technology in your classroom and to help you. So please uh, do your exit ticket and, and, um, and complete the task because this really informs us as to what you need. Thank you for watching this webinar today. This is Nick Gonzalez from BPS Technology, and we hope you have a great time with your Chromebooks.